Hi, Dave Jack here, Superintendent of Falker County Schools with a, a second edition of Checking In for the 17-18 school year. And uh, there are three topics, issues that have sort of risen to the top, either as a result of emails received in the Checking In email address, or from phone calls that I received, or my staff received, or just in general conversations. And the, the three most prevalent seem to be uh, the Eclipse uh, issue from Monday, uh, online registration and um, transportation. So as far as the Eclipse, so what the question I was receiving was why aren't we having school uh, an early dismissal on the Eclipse Day or why are we having school at all on Eclipse Day? And the reason provided by parents uh, were, were ran, ran, ran two different uh, gamuts. One was you should not have school or dismiss early so that parents can do something meaningful with their children on the eclipse day, go someplace and watch the eclipse. The other side of this was you shouldn't have school or you should let out early so that uh, because of the danger posed by you know, staring into the eclipse with unprotected eyes. So, and uh, I have some folks accuse me of not caring about the safety of their children, et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, two things. One, uh, we were very, very clear about if parents want to take their kids out of school early uh, because they have concerns or because they want to do something, you know, fun with their kids on Eclipse Day. They wanted to do that as a result of uh, taking their kids out early or not at all, let them, not letting them come to school at all. That's the parent's choice, and we think, and we think that's fine. 100% uh, the choice of the parent, and I think we were real clear about that. I know schools were. Uh, but as far as the safety piece, we had no concerns, or I at least had no concerns at all about safety, because I know how conscientious our principals and and uh, teachers are. And we were we had asked teachers, or excuse me, principals, way in advance, what exactly their plan was on the eclipse day, what exactly kids would be doing, would they have an opportunity to view the eclipse, did they have the proper glasses? You probably heard about the library very very kindly providing us with glasses, and turned out the glasses weren't any good. So uh, folks were having to kind of reload and troubleshoot that and do something different. Most of them did that by streaming it into classrooms. But everyone had a plan. Everyone had a good plan. And the safety of, of students was of the utmost concern. And I think it turned out to be a really, really good day. But what folks should need to understand is when you, when you lay out an early dismissal or a, 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 a cancellation of school on relatively short notice, it creates all kinds of problems. It just all kinds of problems because there's literally thousands of parents who are going to have to go out get daycare do figure out something to do with their children because they have to work and it's it's can be very daunting uh, the second is uh issue is online registration i'll just say quickly that we we again for the second year in, in, in a row offered online registration we had more a lot more parents utilize it this year uh, we did have issues where parents had completed the online registration and then went to their child's school and were asked to complete a hard copy of the registration. And that shouldn't have happened. That's just a process problem that we fixed. And we will uh, make sure it doesn't happen next year uh, or midterm, for example. But we may go to a model where we try to reach 100% online registration next year. And we'll just we'll make uh, arrangements for folks who don't have, on, don't have internet service or have dial-up or a data plan. We'll, we'll figure out a different way to um, help them and perhaps through a hard copy or perhaps with, through setting stations up at schools where they come into school and complete the online forms. Last but not least is transportation, always the biggest issue or one of the biggest issues when schools start. And I'm, I, I tell you, we're not like, unlike any other school division in the state, we have a bus driver shortage. Um, we currently, I believe, have four routes that are not covered. Uh, and then we have a, a real shortage of substitute drivers, and we're constantly trying to recruit and train folks. Um, so it creates a problem. And, you know, when people have to double up, when a driver has to double up on a run, meaning they're doing two runs, they're substituting for another driver, and it just it takes a long time. Um, but this year is not, un, not unlike any other year in this respect. I go on every afternoon and check the late bus list and it's usually somewhere between eight and twelve late buses and we have well, we have like 150 buses so we have a lot of buses so um, but even, even if it's one bus running extremely late it's really troublesome for families I get that completely but 
there's no simple answer to this this quandary. Uh, we're looking at some incentive programs right now in real time to el eliminate this problem, and so you you can expect to see something uh, in the next couple of weeks or next few weeks that uh, will help eliminate this problem through incentivizing uh, the bus drivers themselves. So. Hope this was helpful to you. Uh, thanks for a great start to the school year and keep your questions and concerns coming. Thank you.